the YouTube, Mr. Computer Answers here today. And first off, I just want to thank you guys for the 10,000 views on this video. It's very exciting and glad I could help you with any of your server creation stuff. Anyways, um, I'm going to be helping you guys with the main problems you guys are having. And one of the biggest ones is that CMD opens and then all of a sudden closes without even giving you any chance to do anything. Now the reason for this is, is you probably don't have this pause at the bottom. This pause is telling you is telling the CMD to wait before so it doesn't close it can be able to access Java now just basically go into the start.bat and add pause into the bottom and it should work if it doesn't go ahead and email me at mrcomputeranswers at gmail.com and I'll try and help you out as best I can now another problem is this Java version is not recognized as internal or external command now this is a simple fix. All you have to do is go to this website right here and just download Java. It's just basically saying that you don't have Java installed. That's all you have to do and it should work from there as long as you make sure you have the pause. Now this is another one of the most common ones is I don't know my router username and password. What do I do? So this is what I usually tell people is it's usually on the side of the router on a sticker and it'll say username and password and it's usually something stupid like admin and admin or user and user admin and blank something like that but if it's not there and it's not one of those dumb ones then go to portforward.com all these links will be in the description by the way and now what you have to do is at their website they've got tons of routers they've pretty much got every router made in the history of routers so <laughs> Um, basically what you need to do is find your model number uh, for your router. So I have a D-Link, I don't know what the model number is by memory, so I'll just click on one. And now you want to click here to skip the advertisement. And then we want to scroll down, and this is asking you what you need help put forwarding for. So find Minecraft. So just keep scrolling. Find it. Mine. Right there. Okay. So now it'll tell you where what your u default username and password is and basically what I recommend is you go through this very short guide and it'll tell you it'll show you what your port forwarding thing should look like and this is exactly what mine looks like pretty much and that should be about it for the default username and password as you can see here it says default username is admin and password is admin so it tells you what the pa default username and password is so you just have to find your router and it should work perfectly fine for you hopefully this video helped you guys out a lot and if you still do have any questions please email me at mrcomputeranswers at gmail.com and that will be in the description so you can just copy and paste it into a new message um, once again, I want to thank you guys so much for this 10,000 views. It's really great. Um, and thank you guys for all the subscriptions, too. It really helps me out over here. And just if you like this video, go ahead and like it, favorite it. And once again, please do not send me a private message. It's very hard to respond to as, because YouTube messaging is so basic. Like, I can't see any of the threads like you would in email. So, so basically, I, th I think this... This about wraps this video up for you guys, and once again, I will be releasing the server very soon, so subscribe for that to be notified when that comes out. If you guys would like to join the server before it comes out to public, it's oh, uh, on, open, online, whatever you want to call it, uh, once in a while right now, because it's not public, so you can join it, join us here if you would like, but anyways guys, this wraps this video up. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe.